gangs are very. It's a different thing. Like say, it's like say, my daughter was in high school and mm -hmm. she was living in an area called the jungle, mm -hmm. which is uh, if you saw Training Day, the last area that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I seen it. Actually, mm -hmm. one of my partners I was interviewing live over there. It's not like it was before or now, okay, but so back then. Bloods. Yeah, yeah. Those are bloods. My daughter lived over there with her mom yeah. when she was growing up. So I took her out to buy some sneakers. I wanted to buy her some blue sneakers because mm -hmm. pretty much I, I'm from a, a crip area. Yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to Ehe, the reason you see. But then, uh, I when I, when I was in high school, I used to write gangbanger rhymes, and I would write them. I didn't even know what rap was, right. but I would write these rhymes for the gangs to just pretty much entertain these niggas. I never joined the gang mm -hmm. because you're not in a gang, you're from a gang. Like a gang, LA gangs are based around neighborhoods. So if I'm not, what, what neighborhood did you grow up in? I'm down in the country. I'm in Texas, you know. So, so. What, what neighborhood? What, what, an award or? No, no, no. It's not a ward or nothing. It's just when you're in the country, you in, you got a you got a space here or a space there. And, okay. and you know, it's not like, like you. I know what you're talking about, like New Orleans got them wards. Like the Fifth Ward. Fifth Ward okay, and all so that. Okay, so let's say if I'm in New Orleans. So I'm from Fifth Ward. See, that's a, that would be a gang, right? Fifth Ward, whatever. You not, you can't get in it. You're from it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> now you're already it. in it. You're in it. So if you but if you were rolling sixty crib, right. that means you live in the sixties. That's the sixties. If you ate trays, you live in the eighties. That's right. You live in one elevens. You live in. So that's how it. So and I, just because you live there, that don't mean that you have to be a part of it. You're part of it, rather like like you're or not join it. You're you not say. an active gang member. See, there's a lot. Gangs are very. It's a different thing. Like say it's like say my daughter was in high school and mm -hmm. she was living in an area called the jungle, mm -hmm. which is, uh, if you saw training day, the last area that happened. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm -hmm. I seen it. Actually, mm -hmm. one of my partners I was interviewing live over there. It's not like it was before or now, okay, but so back that then. Bloods. Yeah, yeah. Those are bloods. My daughter lived over there with her mom yeah. when she was growing up. So I took her out to buy some sneakers. I wanted to buy her some blue sneakers because mm -hmm. pretty much I, I'm from a, a crip area. Dad, I can't wear. I can't those. wear that over there. I'm like, why? You in a gang? Nah, but I just don't. I don't need. It's the gonna energy. cause a problem. Feel me? So even if you're not in the gang, you understand culture. The, the, culture the culture of that particular, the codes in that area. Now you could be in a gang affiliate. Like I'm a gang affiliate. People know me from '60s. They know me from Harlem's. They know me from different sets. But I never jumped in the set. You don't even get put on like that anymore. You know, but. Then you got active gang members who are actually out putting in work. Mm -hmm. Correct. There's a different. There's a different degrees of how deep you are in the set. You know, this cat's in the set ain't never put in work, meaning actually gone and shot at the rivals. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? If once you get in one of them cars and you go out and you handle get, business, that's mm -hmm. active. Them is, okay. Those are active motherfuckers, okay. right? So you just, it's kind of like the difference. I was in the army, but I never went downrange. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You know, you, you know, I was in peacetime war. Mm -hmm. The different cats that actually went to Afghanistan, you separate yourself from, from them the as a veteran. Correct. No, I never been downrange because you, you're not a combat vet. When you was at Crenshaw, was was gang gang like like I know I talked with uh, Melvin them and we talked about X and all the different guys. Was gang were, were any of the friends that you associated yourself with in gangs? Everybody was. There you go. Everybody. That's why you say you in it, right? Everybody you, was. You, Crenshaw was a gang. When I went to Crenshaw, I went. I graduated in '76, so I'm much older than Big U and all them Correct. cats, right? But at, when I went there, that was when they there were some bloods there. They used to call them the Brims. They were there, but they moved over to Manual Arts and they moved to Dorsey. And at, in Crenshaw, you got Harlem Crips, which are '30s. You have ETGs, A Trey Gangster Crips. You've got Hoover Crips, right? And you, who are no longer Hoover Crips, now they're Hoover Criminals. They're not Crips or Bloods, wow. right? Oh. And then, yeah, they that's were, right. They that's were right. orange. I didn't know that. Part. They were orange, and then you have the '60s, which Crenshaw actually is in the '60 hood. Mm. That, that you know. So that being said, if you know enough people, say you a gang member, right? If you my motherfucking man, I'm good. Mm. You follow right. me? 
If you fucks with me, I'm good. good. I don't need to be in the set. I'm right. good. If I got a problem, you, I got you, Ice. That's so, yeah. be an affiliate. The, the beauty of being an affiliate is you don't have beef with the other set. That's right. As soon as I, if I jump into Harlem Crips, the, the 30s, I got beef with all their enemies. Mm -hmm. Also, I'm, I'm held accountable to the rules of that, that set, which I'm not, you know? So... I, what happened was when I was in Crenshaw and all the gang shit was going around, I started to to, to slide over toward the players. Now at the same time they were gangbangers, they had players. Cats that was wearing tailors, you know, getting their clothes made, shooting dice, wearing perms. Fly. fly yeah, the fly cats, <laughs> right? But we had a pistol too. But you 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 could float amongst the gangbangers because gangbangers are looking for the enemy. They're not really looking for just somebody mm -hmm. outside. If I banged on you, say yo, what's up, cuz you know this roll six. You say nigga, I don't gangbang. Okay, I'm, I, all right. I, I, in my brain, I punked you. Wow. Mm -hmm. And in your brain, you like I'm not even with that. Mm -hmm. Keep it moving. They not really out. They, they looking for somebody to say bang back. Like what's yeah. that? Nigga? Yeah. Bow. Oh, there we go. We got the conflict. The conflict. Yeah. So anyway, the gang shit was happening at Crenshaw Heavy when I first started. But if, if when you say my my era, that was the era of Tookie. Correct. Tookie. That was the area of Jamel. Correct. That was the area of era, era of all these uh, cutes, yeah. Rusty, all the le legendary uh, Barefoot Pookie. Yeah. All these, all these. Those are those are the OGs when when Crippin was really starting in L.A. And then you got all the different blood gangs and stuff. See. Anything that's not a crip is a blood by default. Meaning everything that it, I'm giving you gang banging one. <laughs> oh shit, I spent my life out there. So everything that's a crip will, will be followed by a crip. Harlem crip, Hoover crip, Playboy crips, uh, whatever. 40 crip. Venice shoreline, crip, 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 crip. Anything else Inglewood family. They don't call themselves Inglewood family bloods. They're just Inglewood family. Abe Athen Park boys. Denver Lanes. Pyrus. Uh, those are all blood gangs, but they not. You understand? So they're not even all connected. Those are separate gangs. Bloodstone villains. Uh, so anything that's not a get crip is a blood by mm -hmm. default. Oh, yeah. Wow, that's crazy. Makes sense? Mm -hmm. It make a lot of sense. Okay, but the Crips are the biggest set. But then you gotta also remember the Mexican sets out there. I that didn't are, think about those, but they yeah, definitely were there. Their 18th Street, probably, 18th Street is huge. Then you've got Harpies, you've got Sotels, you've got uh, uh, East Lokes, you've got uh, yeah, MS-13. Is there any but, Jamaican but, sets anywhere? <laughs> no, no, see, you know why? Right. There's, there's more Jamaican action out here on the East Coast. East Coast. Because you're closer to Jamaica. Okay. L.A. is Mexico. Right. La Siena, La right. Brea, Los mm. Angeles. Right. We are Mexico. So the, the Mexican situation is serious. Let, serious. Let me ask yeah, we on Boss Talk TV. Shout out to E-He, the reason you see